Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today's video is brought to you by Reality and the toddler in my house. I uh, was trying to find the rest of these, but we're going to have to do this video with a uh, limited set. So today's video, I am going to compare the traditional Crayola colored pencils that I've had in my you know, collection here for several years now. Um, and this new set of colored pencils, also Crayola, that my daughter was given as a gift for, I don't remember, her birthday or something. Um, they're marketed as, as erasable colored pencils. And so far my impression is that they're really well, you know, they erase really well. The question though is, are they any different from the original normal colored pencils, just normal ones, except that like they have an eraser. So we're gonna compare, first of all, um, this is the 12 color set um, of the originals, and it has got let's see, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, green, gr dark green, or is it yellow, green, and green, uh, sky blue, blue, and then violet, black, brown, and white. This set here, which like I said, I'm missing a few of them, <laughs> they're somewhere in this house, has um, the same red, let's see, red, orange, and orange, well, I'm, these don't line up here, same red, red, orange, orange, yellow, green, dark green, blue, and purple, so it, it does. It has this light blue as well as a normal blue, which we don't have here, and then um, two different purples, I think, no, a normal violet, this one here, what does it say, violet, and then possibly a blue violet. Um, and then it also has a black and then two different browns and no white. So that's, I guess, your differences in there as far as colors. But they're pretty similar in the spectrum. So we're going to go ahead and do a head-on-head -head comparison. Um, I didn't do the very best job of sharpening these. I'm going to do a little bit of like a hard and then sort of softly. For each color and at first just compare the colors to each other. I don't have a piece of black paper handy um, to compare, but mostly that would be construction paper anyway, and I don't think that this would hold up to erasing the construction paper, so that's not what we're looking at today. Um, maybe in your blackout journals, if you want to test it, that's up to you. But first, uh, I want to say the difference between these in like coloring, not in erasing yet, but just in coloring, it's definitely a different kind of pencil. These ones feel very smooth to... Um, to kind of write, they just sort of glide across the surface of the paper, which is kind of a strange thing considering what th these are. These um, are more kind of, I don't, I want to say like a, like a pastel pastels. They feel stickier, that they kind of grip the paper more. So it's harder to kind of blend though. Obviously you can see the results are pretty similar as far as like the gradient, as it were, that I've done here. Um, a comparison of colors, I'd say, for whatever reason, the red here, this is just red. It looks a much bluer than the you know, straight red in the traditional pack. Um, I don't have the red-orange handy to be able to compare that one, so it might be more of a true fire engine red. Um, and then like the orange looks the same, yellows, obviously, it's hard to tell the difference. The straight green looks, I think, a little bit bluer than the straight green in the original set. Um, these all look the same. And then the straight brown, for whatever reason, the colors on these erasable ones, uh, the barrel colors as it were, don't match the lead colors very well. Um, it's hard to tell the difference between them. So this is brown. Obviously it doesn't really look like this matches the color of the actual pencil much better. This looks all weird and taupey 
but the color brown, it's very similar to this one, slightly lighter, I would say. This is like a um, dark chocolate kind of color, and this is more of a milk chocolate, maybe. And then this one is labeled as light brown. I'd say that's sort of the burnt sienna kind of uh, a look. I My only guess is of having two browns in the pack is maybe to be able to do more skin colors. Um, it's kind of hard to say because they don't have a peach in here either. Um, so for whatever reason, they decided to get rid of the white pencil and replace it with a brown one. Um, I guess white fitting in with all the other colors doesn't really make sense. I feel like if you're going to have a white pencil, you should do like a set of metallics or something and include it in that for anything, you know, to write on dark paper. But that's beside the point here today. We've done the color comparison. Now it's time to look at the actual eraser. So the eraser itself is a pretty decent quality eraser. It feels a little bit crumbly, but it's um, more along the lines of like your Ticonderoga erasers. You know, that's like it's a pretty decent um, eraser for a pencil to have on the end of it. Um, and it kind of comes apart easily. You can kind of see it's already been worn down some. And it they're all exactly the same. They're just different colors of uh, rubber. For I'm just racing here on the plain page so you can see it kind of comes crumbles as an eraser does but it's not going to mark up the page from the color of the eraser so this is how it erases uh, you can see how well that works it just cuts a straight white line straight through which is amazing and the reason I wanted to make this video was sort of as a compliment to my friction videos that I've made um, this would be great for, you know, decorating stuff if you're, you know, not so confident in your drawing abilities or whatever. This is a great way to be able to uh, fix your mistakes because it does erase really, really well. I don't know, you can do your math homework and uh, colors, fun colors. First I'm going to compare this is just a Studler eraser. This is one of those like smoother rubber erasers. I don't know eraser words. There might be like a technical term, but if you're familiar with pencils, which you know, we've all been to school, you've got like the rougher feeling kind of ones, like the, the pink ones. And then you've got the ones that are like the white ones that are sort of a smoother rubber. That's the kind that this is. And I just want to compare to make sure that it's not anything special to do with this particular eraser. You do see a little bit of the color is left if you mark harder. Um, it means like the more aggressive part at the top of each swatch still has a little bit of color left behind in the grains of the paper. And obviously the quality of the paper and the smoothness of the paper you use will determine that as well. But I don't think it's a big difference. A really noticeable difference. Eh. You know, honestly, I think that this one did a slightly worse job of erasing, especially the parts that are um, at the top of each swatch, the darker markings. So I would say that probably my guess has to do with this not penetrating as deeply into the paper as a rougher eraser would. So there you go. Now, we've come to the moment of truth. This is the question I really wanted to come to is, do the regular Crayola pencils erase at all. In my experience, I don't think really, but also then I haven't tried in a while. So let's grab one of these erasers that hasn't been used as much and get started. Ooh. They don't not erase. I'll say that. <laughs> they really don't do it very well though. We've got a lot of smudging. We've got a lot of uh, color left behind. With something like yellow, you can barely tell the difference. And I am pushing pretty hard, if you can tell how much of the eraser is coming off. I'm going to have to relax my wrist after all of this, but I do want to check each color to show you in case you're curious. I really don't know what they have made these new erasable pencils out of, but they erase so much better. Because like I said, it doesn't, you would imagine that an erasable pencil, you know, like a normal graphite pencil, it's, graphite is very slippery. 
And so you would imagine that you would want a slipperier pencil that sort of glides across the paper more to erase well, but that's the opposite case here. I can't say I'm really surprised. I think this is pretty much what I expected to happen, but it's kind of interesting to see exactly how pronounced the difference is. There's just like white stripes all the way down these erasable pencils. I'm not sure if I would ever be a pencil planner. Like I, if I'm looking for something erasable in my planner, I would probably go for the friction pens. But this would be great for decoration. Um, it's pretty easy to do colored pencil stuff instead of like watercolors because it's more portable. It dries, obviously you don't have to worry about it drying, so that kind of thing. And so I think that that would be the primary use that I would get out of these. All in all though, just as a technical marvel, I think these are pretty amazing. I don't know how they compare in cost, but Crayola products tend to be pretty affordable. So I wouldn't think it would be that big of a difference in price. And for the difference you get in erasability, obviously, if that's something that you ever want to consider doing to colored pencils, then these would be the ones to go with. However, if you do a lot of colored pencil art and you're familiar with the way that these feel, and if you're okay with the fact that they don't erase, then if you move to these, you're probably going to find it to be at least a different experience. Cause like I said, they do write differently. They stick to the page differently. They have more of a waxy kind of a feeling. Um, and the result, yeah, I, I can almost sort of feel the waxiness on top. Whereas here, I kind of just feel like the paper, but this isn't a case of like the friction eraser. I don't think where it just disappears. Um, or it just goes uh, invisible because I don't think that that's what's going on here. I think it actually is removing the uh, removing the pencil from the paper because of, it's just a normal eraser here. Uh, anyway, that is what I wanted to show you today. I thought these were pretty cool and I had not heard of them until they came into our house for my two-year-old to draw with. Um, and so I thought that you may not have heard of them either. Um, I think in the planner community, we focus on more of the like art lines, you know, your microns and such, and then your Stedlers and your oh, Faber Castells and all of the things that are a bit more high end. But uh, Crayola has a lot of really cool products and they do still continue to release new products all the time, which is interesting. And I want to definitely keep an eye on what they have coming down the pipeline because it's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I post planner content every Thursday and then other kinds of stuff on Sundays. So ring the bell so you don't miss any of the videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.